Hi everyone, I am Citria, C-E-T-R-I-Y-A, and welcome to my intro video to 100 Days of Making Comics. I'm pretty new to making videos. I'm new to keeping things on a schedule, recording a uh, video, and making sure that the audio is okay. But in the few videos that I've made, and if you have not seen my previous work, you could just head on to YouTube and search C-E-T-R-I-Y-A. It's a pretty unique name. You'll be able to easily find my channel over there, but you can see kind of like my starting out with the video. Sometimes the quality of the audio is not that great, and other times the video could be a little bit cleaner, but I'm learning, I'm learning. Either way, I'm not trying to be a professional video maker. I'm just trying to record and share my work and my process for anyone who would be interesting, interested in seeing what, what or how I create things. So for this 100 Days of Making Comics, it's the first time I'll be participating. I have seen some of these videos pop up now and then, and of course, I do follow Kevin Cross and some of his other partners on part of the Artcasters um, video cast, web yeah, podcast, video cast, something like that. And it got me interested, but a little history about me. Um, my last comic project was, well, the Kickstarter ran in 2015, and about, about this time, March 2015, and it was successful. It was a small project. I didn't want to overextend myself or come up with an unrealistic goal. That comic specifically that comic specifically was called Oi Claire and if you're interested to know more about that comic you can go ahead and just uh, click on the link either below or in a comment or description that I post since this video will be posting both on YouTube and on Facebook um, since those are the two areas that are very much into like video sharing and I want as much people to anyone who's interested to actually get a chance to take a look um, so after Oi Claire was delivered in 2016 I have not started on any project in terms of comics. Before then, I did put out a novel and I definitely need more work in commanding the English language for that, but I do want to continue writing. But, you know, there's just some stories that I prefer to, to have in comic form. So for this 100 Days of Making Comics, I'm starting on a brand new comic to, to one, get into the gear and the habit of creating comics because for some reason after a project, I, I tend to need like a bit of a break. But after 2006, it was like a couple of months break. Not to say I wasn't doing anything, but um, I'm, I'm kind of itching and ready to get started on another project. And with each project, I'd like to add an, add on a challenge for me. So for Oi Claire, it was, it, well, with Oi Claire, it was quite a bit of, it was some time, um, maybe two years or so since I last made a comic for myself and produced one to share. Um, uh, prior to that, between 2006 or so to like 2011, 10, 12. Um, I was posting web comics and things like that, and most of them are completed. They were relatively short. So Oracle was the longest running comic that I've done to date at uh, roughly six, 64, maybe 60, yeah, 60 to 64 pages. Um, with this new comic, which is called Cross Star, um, I don't exactly have a mind or like a set goal of how many pages the total comic will be, but it is inspired by like uh, 90s, a little bit of 80s, and early 2000s uh, manga from Japan. And maybe a little bit of Korean comics also. And in general, I know for most of us who maybe grew up or were introduced to those things, now we're at that point where we kind of like a mix of things. So I do read other stuff besides uh, manga. And that that's what I wanted to talk about. My influences is that uh, Cross Star is definitely my um, love for like um, shonen or boys comics uh, from Japan. And that kind of like battle comic, almost like, um, I wouldn't necessarily say One Punch, but it kind of like one punch a little bit of zaniness because it's a it's a sci-fi it's a sci-fi battle comic so maybe a little bit of um space dandy and most recent anime i saw was was birdie which kind of made me sad a little bit because i've already planned this comic and then i discovered this anime and it's like well there goes the exact anime but then when you think about the time it was made then i'm like well of course it's gonna be similar because that's that's my influences but for the main part for the most part the reason why i'm making cross star is to have fun um there is a story there's a story to it and there's a couple of twists and turns in the plot, so I don't want to share too much at the beginning and spoil anything for you guys. But basically, if you like things from like the 90s, early 2000s, those kind of um, battle comics that wasn't so that wasn't so gory, but just fun and interesting and just an enjoyable read, um, but also had a compelling story, then you might be interested in reading Cross Star when it comes out. And my plans for it coming out would probably be about uh, maybe August, perhaps earlier, but I see mostly in August. Mostly because the 100 days should be complete by then, because that's about three months. And also, it is going to be a webcomic, so you guys will get to read it for free. And I also want to develop to develop that uh, buffer, so that way I don't have to worry too much in case I wanted to get sick. Or not wanted to, but in case I get sick. So, just wanted to 
put out a quick little intro video in general. Um, again, you can find me under Satria. That's mostly what people know me for. And pretty much all of my social media handles is C-E-T-R-I-Y-A. My goals for this 100 Days of Making Comics is basically developing a buffer for my webcomic, Rockstar. Uh, also getting into the habit of really working on my comic. I do have... I do have quite I do have enough time to work on it for more than 30 minutes a day but I know that 30 minutes is my absolute minimum and still working on my new schedule because I just moved into this area recently and I'm still getting used to my new job and things like that uh, but hopefully maybe get myself to wake up uh, an extra half hour early or 25 minutes early in the morning because it takes me a while it takes a while for my brain to wake up and after work if I'm not too tired or I don't have other errands maybe work on there so for the 100 days of making comics I don't know if I'm allowed to cheat a little bit and make it 100 sessions because some days I might have two sessions one in the morning one in the evening but then I know for a fact that days like Thursdays would be very difficult for me to squeeze in that 30 minutes and simply because like Thursdays I'm pretty much not in the house I'm out of the house for the entire day um there we'll see how it is it depends I'm I'm kind of finagling my lunch hour to see if I could um, maybe squeeze in some of that days which comes to something else is that some most of the videos I'm assuming is going to be through my like a screencast on my computer but you might capture some videos of me just uh sketching or writing or planning while I'm sitting inside my car during lunch so yeah I explained why I want to do this I want to develop a buffer and get into the habit of making my comics again while also making you know the comic and things I will kind of start working on other projects because that's just the way I am I like to work on multiple projects and in general I hope you guys uh find this 100 days interesting Please, you know, drop a comment if you have any or even questions that maybe you want me to talk about or vlog about on these videos. Um, so thanks for watching, you guys, and thanks for letting me participate in this awesome challenge. See you in the next video.